everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again in my garden on this very warm December afternoon. It's unusually warm, like about 10 degrees Celsius, and it's lovely gentle breeze, so I thought we should do the video outside again today. Um, so for today, the sequence we have is a flowy sequence, but then we move into more static holds. So I thought it was quite fitting to do like a water to ice themed practice today. So we'll be, be building some heat moving and flowing a lot, kind of like a vinyasa flow, and then holding at the end. So it may become a little bit difficult, but it'll be fun. So to begin, we're going to arrive onto the mat. We'll come down into child's pose to start. So you can either have the hands extended overhead or bring them back next to the feet. Just arrive here in your child's pose. Feel the gentle stretch in the back. Take some deep breaths. Breathe all the way down towards the hips. Just relax, melt yourself onto the mat. Try and clear your mind of your busy day. Such a lovely gentle breeze. I really love doing yoga with a breeze. Two more deep breaths. Wow, the river really is making a loud noise today. All the melted snow. All right, here we go. So let's begin with the flowing and then we'll do some holds after we flow each time. So to begin, inhale. Round forward, so we're making like a, a cat position here, creating a cat-cow flowing movement. Once you get to the top here, dip the stomach, lift the hips, sink back with an exhale into that child's pose. So inhale, press. Exhale, sink back down. So normally we would inhale and we lift the chest in cat-cow. But this time we're swapping it up. it going. Maybe speed it up just a little bit. Two more. Hold the cat position here, really press with the shoulders, bring the knees under a little bit more if you need to. Then exhale, melt back down, hold the child's pose. Inhale, come back up, cat pose. Hold again, take it even slower. Exhale, come into that cow pose, sink back, child's pose. Hold. Inhale, cat pose. Round the back, hold. Exhale, come into that cow pose, sink back, child's pose. Take it slow. Inhale, cat pose. Exhale, lift the chest, lift the hips. Sink back, child's pose. Very good, one more time, longest hold now. Inhale, cat pose. You can breathe here as well, don't forget to breathe. Inhale, sorry, exhale. You can inhale here, it's okay as well since we're holding for longer. Then 
Exhale, sink back, child's pose, hold. See how that back is feeling after warming up here. Very nice, inhale, come forward to tabletop. Peel the toes under, lift up into that plank position. Curl the toes under. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Come into the first downward facing dog of the sequence. Bend the knees if you're feeling a little tight, which is completely normal. Tuck the lower ribs in, press the hips back a little bit. Very nice. All right, so from here, we're gonna inhale to plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feel free to add those cat cow movements again if that felt good. Bend the knees on the transition back. Inhale to plank, exhale to down dog. Warm up the whole body now. Use those muscles. Very nice. Slow it down now. Take it easy. Make this motion a little bit more fluid. Take your time. Come from that watery flow into more of a smooth, slow wave. Find that structure as we slow even further down. Very nice. Next time, inhale, hold that plank. Make sure the wrists are under the shoulders. Feel free to adjust. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog, hold. Again, inhale, hold the plank. Come forwards. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forwards, plank, longest hold now. Take five deep breaths. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Five deep breaths and downward facing dog. Nice job. On the next inhale, walk up between the hands. Come into a halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, press into the feet, round all the way up. Connect the palms, exhale, bring the hands down through the middle. All right, so let's make that into a flowy motion here. Take a breath in your mountain pose to begin. And again, we're gonna flow and then slow down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, round all the way up. Sweep the palms out to the sides. Exhale, bring the hands through the middle. So you can do what you like with your hands. If you wanna copy my little rotation here, then feel free. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forwards, hands to the sides. Bend the knees. Inhale, round up through the spine. Sweep the arms out to the sides again. Exhale, hands through the middle. Keep it going, inhale, reach up, exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, round up. Sweep the palms out to the sides, exhale, hands to the middle. Keep it going at your rhythm. Make it lovely and flowy.
one more here. And we're gonna begin to slow it down, slow that pace. Even slower, here we go. And we're gonna hold that mountain pose. Connect the palms, bring them down through the middle. Inhale, reach up. Dive forwards, hold that forward fold. the mountain and we'll do one more dive here inhale reach up exhale fold last deep forward fold take it easy feel free to swing if that feels good Inhale, round all the way back up to mountain. Connect the palms. All right, so we'll do five sun salutations. And we'll do it in the same kind of flow and then slow um, method here. All right, so first we'll, I'll walk you through the first one. You can pick your modifications and then we'll see. Uh, just see how you do. It may be a little quick for some of you, so definitely take those modifications if it feels a little intense. Here we go. Inhale, reach up. Add that back bend, connect the hands. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it back to plank. Take a breath. On the next exhale, bring the knees down if you need that modification or shift forwards and down, chaturanga. Flip the feet, either come into your cobra, lifting the chest, or come into the full upward facing dog. Press the chest forward, lift the legs off the mat. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog, take a breath. On the next inhale, walk up between the hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, round all the way up. Connect the palms. Add that back bend if it felt good and bring the hands down through the middle. Okay, so that's one. So pick your modifications, bring those knees down if you need it. Don't go as deep into the folds. Take it easy as we do this. Four more times. Here we go. Inhale, reach up. Add that back bend. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it back to plank. Take a breath. Forwards and down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Again, take cobra if upward facing dog feels like too much for you. Inhale, walk between the hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, press into the feet. Back bend. Exhale, hands to the middle. Here we go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. I'll just cue the breath now. Inhale. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, lift his hips. Inhale, walk between the hands. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, rise up. Hands down through the center. Here we go, we'll add a few more little adjustments here and do it two more times. All right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, hop and lift. Exhale, you can either hop it back or walk back. Take a breath. Exhale, forwards and down. 
Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, round all the way up. Take the palms, exhale, hands to the middle. Here we go again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, walk or hop back to that plank. On the same exhale, lower forwards and down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk or hop with the next inhale. Between hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, round all the way up. Take the palms. Exhale, bring the hands down through the middle. Ah, oh, sun salutation feels so good. All right, here we go. We'll do it nice and slow, slowing it down. Inhale, reach up. Add that back bend. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it back to plank. And on that same exhale, lower forwards and down. Hold. Inhale, lift. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take two deep breaths. Inhale, walk between the hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, round all the way up. Add that back bend. Exhale, hands down through the middle. One more time. <laughs> nice and slow, even slower. Inhale, reach up. Back bend. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back to plank on the same breath, lower forwards and down. Inhale, lift to upward facing dog. Or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold for three breaths. Next, inhale, walk between the hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, round all the way up. Add that back bend. Exhale, bring the hands down through the middle. <sighs> Take a couple breaths here in mountain. So we'll add one more challenging flow here and then we'll head into the cool down. Let's begin, inhale, reach up with the hands. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back to plank, taking it slow now. Practice will be nice and slow from here on out. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Focus on that structure, less of that flow. Take a deep breath. Very nice, so for this next part, there's two options here. Option one, inhale, raise the right leg. Exhale, step it forwards. Pivot on the back foot, inhale, rise up, warrior two. Option two is a little bit more extreme here. So after we inhale, lift the leg up. Exhale, step the leg forwards. We're gonna lift off of the left leg here and come into a standing splits. 
doesn't have to be very high, you can be down here if you want to give that a go, and then enter your warrior two by placing the foot down on the mat. Or for those who want to try the intermediate option, we bend both knees, bring it forwards into our pistol squat here and hold. Bring those hands back onto the mat, lift off of the foot, step it back. Inhale, rise up, warrior two from there. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat, pivot on the back foot, step that right foot back to downward facing dog. Other side now, inhale, raise that left leg up. Exhale, step it between the hands. Either go straight into that warrior two or lift off of the right leg, standing splits. Exhale, bend that knee, bring it forwards into that pistol squat hold. Keep the hands on the mat or lift them up for that added challenge. Very nice, place the hands back on the mat, step it back. Inhale, rise on up, warrior two. Breathe. Exhale, windmill the hands down, pivot on the back foot, step it back to that downward facing dog, and let's relax. Inhale, come forwards. Bring the knees down to the mat, shift forwards and down. Slide the hands out in front of you. Come into that Sphinx pose. Bring the toes together here. Bend that left foot in. Reach back with the left hand. Pull the foot in if that feels good for you. If you want to hold that sphinx pose, that's okay too. This can be an intense stretch. Make sure you're not collapsing into that right shoulder. Stay elevated here. Deep back bend, deep quad stretch. Nice, release the hand. Let the left arm slide back parallel with the right. Bring that right foot in. Reach back with the right hand. Pull it towards the glutes. Release it down, bring both hands out in front of you, lift that chest. Exhale, lean back down over the mat, lift the hips up and back. Come back into that child's pose, countering the sphinx pose here. And again, take a couple of deep breaths. Relax that body, see how it feels after flowing, after moving. We're gonna swing the hands back towards the heels. Inhale, round the back. Press away, so grab onto those heels if we can, or the ankles and press away or pull the shoulder blades away from each other very gently. Try and reach that head for the knees. Just stretch that upper back and those shoulders. Very nice, relax back down. That was called rabbit pose, I really love that one. And to finish off, just take five more deep breaths here in child's pose. Thank you. 
Inhale, rise up. Come find a nice seat or just sit on top of the shins here. Take a breath. Next, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down through the middle. Take a moment just to thank yourself for practicing today, for moving your body, for finding your natural rhythm in those flows. And we'll finish there. Thank you everyone for practicing with me today. Um, enjoy your holidays and have a fantastic last week of December. I hope you stay stress-free um, and I will see you next week.